I'm sure you guys are all familiar with what's on the table here. These are some of the most common and popular food dishes in Singapore, but for some people, taking just one bite could send them straight to the hospital. Why? Well, these dishes contain some of the most common food allergens in the world, such as peanut, milk and eggs. For some people, ingesting them or even being near them might trigger some nasty reactions. But why do people even have food allergies in the first place? Can we recover from them? Can we still continue to enjoy the food that we are allergic to? Well, today, we are going behind the scenes to crack the nut on food allergies and find out all about them. But first, what are food allergies? Food allergies are caused by the immune system reacting to a substance it believes to be harmful. As a result, the immune system responds by making a type of antibody called immunoglobulin E that is released by the body. Food proteins that trigger this immune reaction are called allergens. Allergic symptoms can appear immediately or up to two hours upon exposure to food. Symptoms can range from mild oral or skin symptoms to a more serious, life-threatening reaction called anaphylaxis. Yep, let's go. Oh my gosh, that is. <laughs> Today, I'm meeting Dr. Hidayah to understand more about allergies. Hello, Dr. Hidayah. Hello. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. So, can you share with us more about your area of study? My primary area of research is actually on children's health. So, most of the studies that I've actually worked on looks at food allergies in children. Oh, allergies in children. That's really interesting. Food allergy prevalence in Singapore is relatively low at about around 1%. When we compare it to Australia, for instance, uh, it has about 15% in Australia East Asian um, children. So, why is it important to have these kind of findings? There might be a different risk in different populations. So, international guidelines, for instance, may not actually be universal. You might need to tailor it to certain populations depending on the risk. So with these findings, we then work closely with clinicians to try and understand the differences between healthy infants and those with eczema. So we aim to actually identify early signs in the skin's microbes and biomarkers that can help us prevent eczema. Oh, there seems to be a bit of genetic factors involved and that's actually one of the most commonly asked questions about food allergies. Are they inherited? Let's see what people think. False. True. Usually they will say their family already has the allergy. Yeah. People that I know they have food allergy, their parents do not have. It seems that the views on the streets are pretty divided. So Dr. Hidayah, can you tell us if this statement is true or false? So yes, allergies are often hereditary. If you have a family history of any allergy, you are actually at a much higher risk of having allergy than someone with no family history at all. However, there is actually no one single gene that is solely contributing to this increased risk. Which is also why sometimes we call food allergy as a complex disease. It is most likely caused by several factors. Pass. True. A milk allergy versus lactose intolerance is quite different, I think. The symptoms are different compared to other allergies. Well, lactose intolerance is actually not considered an allergy. So it's often mistaken as a milk allergy because they actually share some similar symptoms. So lactose intolerance is actually an issue with your digestive system that is lacking lactase, the enzyme responsible for breaking down lactose. And so when our small intestine is unable to break down this lactose, it leads to abdominal pain, diarrhea or even gas. Uh, milk allergy on the other hand is an abnormal immune response to proteins that you can actually find in milk and milk containing products. Oh, I get it now. So an allergy is basically an adverse reaction caused by our immune system while lactose intolerance refers to the absence of an enzyme. I think false. At the dusty place, my husband doesn't feel itchy, so I think it's false. <laughs> I think false. Uh. <laughs> I think I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel like it could be it could be the case. Well, there are a portion of people who are actually allergic to both shellfish and dust mite. Having one actually increases the risk of the other. So, the common link between them is actually tropomycin, the allergen that actually triggers the allergy. So, the tropomycin in shellfish is quite similar to tropomycin in house dust mites. And as a result, there is some sort of cross-reactivity. Um, and when you are exposed to house dust mites, you may be at an increased risk of shellfish allergy as well. No wonder! I actually have a friend who is allergic to both shellfish and dust mites. And whenever he has a reaction, his skin will break out in eczema. 
With that being said, is eczema linked to food allergy? Well, that's a really good question. Um, eczema is actually also known as atopic dermatitis. So it is this condition where your skin is a little bit dry and uh, itchy. So it is not life-threatening, nor is it um, contagious. Uh, but it can actually uh, affect severely one's quality of life. And it's quite actually well established in uh, the field that eczema actually increases the risk of food allergy, especially in the first six months of life. When you have eczema, which is a disrupted skin barrier, the allergens in the air and food allergens can actually enter the body through the skin. So that is um, essentially why um, those with eczema are at an increased risk of food allergy. Oh, especially infants when they are younger. Mm -hmm, yep. Is it because their skin barriers are certain more weaker? fragile, are weaker, and not fully developed yet? Um, so if you already also have eczema, really pretty on, um, that actually increases the risk as well. Oh, so it like affects one another. Is this yin and yang going on? So uh, even in the first uh, few months of life, if you have eczema and food allergy, this can actually later on progress to asthma or allergic rhinitis. We usually call this as allergic uh, march or atopic march as well. So we have uh, some research that have looked at factors of um, eczema, uh, one of which is that nutritional and uh, microbial signatures. We found that mothers who have lower fiber and potassium intake during pregnancy um, actually have offsprings that have eczema development. Um, and so because of that, we actually suggest that uh, a diet that is particularly rich in fiber and potassium, for example, um, can actually perhaps uh, reduce the risk of uh, eczema in the children later on. Uh -huh. So to all the pregnant mummies out there, eat more veggies and bananas. Okay, so now that we have learned so much about food allergies, I wonder if there's a test for food allergies. Mm, there actually is. We call this test a skin prick test. Shall we try it out now? Now? My, my skin? Yep, let's go. Globally, these nine foods make up about 90% of all allergens. A Gaston study showed that egg was the most common allergy at the younger ages up to two years. Cow's milk was the next most common. However, in the older age group, shellfish allergy was more common. Did you know that while some allergic reactions are only triggered when consumed, some people are hypersensitive to their allergens? For some people allergic to peanut, contact with peanut in the air can cause the allergy to act up. Here in Singapore, a study by ASTAR shows that more than 70% of Singaporeans are sensitised to house dust mites and this translates to increased risk of asthma and allergic rhinitis. Okay, I'm going to take the skin prick test now. Don't worry, it is safe and a control method to test for immediate allergic reactions. Yeah, but that looks pretty scary. Does it hurt? It's actually quite painless. Okay, let's do it. Oh, how is that? It's not too bad. Okay, so now that's all done. We will wait for about 15 to 20 minutes to see whether you are allergic to any of the allergens. Okay. Now, it's time to find out if I'm allergic to any of the most common allergens. So, we do have a histamine positive control in the panel. So, it looks something like this, which is Ooh. a red, slightly swollen, itchy bump. Um, it's something like a mosquito bite. So, that will be how it looks like if you are actually positive or sensitised to any of the other allergens. So, we have some of the most common um, food here, um, such as the cow's milk, egg and peanut. This is most common in Singapore. Um, and also, we have our cat and dog as well, uh, allergens. Um, as well as house dust mites, several varieties of them as well. Well, it looks like uh, you're actually not sensitised to any, so that's pretty good. Oh, phew! Thank goodness that my skin prick test come out negative because I think it would be pretty difficult to be mindful of the ingredients all the time. I think that one of the most burning questions that many of us have is this. Is there a cure for allergies? Well, allergies can be quite varied and affect people in many different ways. 
So we don't actually have a cure per se at the moment, but what we can do is to work on primary prevention and to ensure that food allergy is well managed so that it doesn't affect significantly your quality of life. And here are some tips on how to manage them. So, to sum things up, while there may be different types of allergies, management of the allergy itself is definitely possible through accurate diagnosis and avoiding the relevant triggers. While there is no cure for allergies yet, researchers in Singapore are hard at work studying the effects of allergies in infants and how the environment, genetics and diet can all affect a child's allergy risk. A big thank you to Dr Hidaya for sharing with us all about food allergies today. If you guys have any more questions, do drop them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel to get the first look at our super cool discoveries and findings from our super cool researchers here at ASTAR.